<laughs> okay, you guys, we're going out to the garden to do some activities today. Okay. And before we go, let's just go over the rules. Okay. What do we remember when we go into the garden? Raise your hand if you have a good rule that you want to tell us about. Brennan? No stepping on the um, wood and the beds. Don't step on the beds. Um, don't hold the tools over your legs. Always don't hold the tools below your waist. Why don't you want to go like this with the tool? Okay. Okay, good. What else, Nicole? Um, um, never step in the bed. Never step in the bed. Why don't we step in the beds? Because um, there's little like air pockets and if you crush them, yeah. Do we ever pick food or fruit if we haven't asked? No. No, always wait and ask first. What about the drip line? Don't poke the Right, we want to be really good, good. Okay, um, let's see. What about the tools? What, how do we take care of our tools? How do we take care of our tools? Always come back. Okay, good, in the bucket. And when we're done, our supply supervisors are going to walk around the garden after we've all left and make sure that we've collected all the tools and bring the tool bucket back in, right? start out with my kindergartners when I very first see them in the uh, first the beginning of the year in the fall and we um, we talk about at the table uh, just with a very simple question I ask them which is uh, how are you going to uh, feel safe working in this garden setting how are you going to feel safe moving around and learning what's what do we what safety rules do we need so that you will feel safe and then what safety rules do we need for the other living things in the garden and the rest of the garden so it'll feel safe with you moving around and learning amongst those things and then the ideas that the kindergartners generate are basically what end up being our rules for the year and I type up their ideas and I put it on a you know piece of paper and bring it back in the next week and laminate it and show them their rules that they created so we end up with actually very similar rules every year yeah. because they have the same concerns that all kindergartners have and so I really like the idea of generating those rules I'll put a, a date on it and sometimes even with the older kids uh, in the fall we always sit down together and I'll say um, Remember these rules you made last year? Remember these rules you made three or four years ago? And they're somewhat similar, and we look them over. Can we still agree to these um, this year for our studies? And um, that's basically how they evolve. So if you it turns out that we always end up with about four or five rules, with, like I say, just through the kids coming up with them or through certain leading questions. And um, one of them is... Uh, to treat everyone and everything uh, nicely. They'll come up with different wordings for that. Some will say with respect. Um, and then, uh, in, and then, it'll, then often they'll elaborate and say uh, plants, animals, and each other. Um, and then another one is about where, where they can walk. So walk on the paths. And of course we try to frame everything in a positive way. Um, so walk on the paths. Um, uh, stay within the garden gates. That comes up as, uh, you know, when I, if I ask a question, where do you think it's okay to be, or where, where, you know, where will you feel the most safe? Oh, within the garden gates. And so always ask permission before picking anything. And we talk a lot about how they're, you know, um, not everything is edible, even though it's in a garden. Uh, <coughs> okay, gophers, come on in here. I'm going to have all the gophers come right here, and squirrels, come on right over here for a minute, okay? So, we're going to go over the rules from the garden. Who can remember one of the rules from the garden? Who remembers? Do not run. Don't run. Okay, good. What's another rule? Don't pull, like, flowers. Plant. Don't pull the flowers. Okay. No standing in there, in the garden bed. Uh-huh, good. Oh, near stand in the plant. Don't stand on, don't step on the plants. Okay, good job. When you find a snail, you throw it up and kick it out of the garden.